Saying yes to yourself is by far one of the most powerful things that you can do in business and life. So my name is Byron Ingram, an author, speaker, podcaster, and I'm going to talk a little bit about this today. As you know, it's Monday. I really want to be able to help people just as yourself be able to understand why you must start saying yes. So I invite you to go ahead and invite a few of your friends to watch this. It is extremely powerful. So just give me a moment here as I share this out here because I want to make sure that people get this valuable message. It's something that's extremely important because, you know, when you look at the world that we live in, it's so common for us to not give ourselves permission. Think about all the times in life that, you know, we haven't done that at all. If it's, it's an extremely scary thing if you think about it, because guess what happens? We end up not giving ourselves permission to do, well, pretty much anything, unfortunately. And that's, that's a hard thing for us to do. And why is that? It's, it's really simple. It's because we live in this world where, you know, unfortunately, we're raised from a very early age to not allow ourselves that luxury, to not give ourselves permission. And that's ultimately what it comes down to. So I want you to think about something for a moment. I want you to just turn back the clock to the time when you were a kid growing up. I want you to think about how many times did you hear someone say to yourself, oh no, don't do that, you might get hurt, or like, oh no, you ask for permission first, and so on, and so on, and so on. And guess what happens? That becomes part of you. And that will hold you back more than you ever can realize. Because think about this for a moment. When you look back in your life, Think about when you're a kid growing up and you know you wanted to, let's say, go out and play and someone's told you no. Or you wanted to, let's say, go visit your friends and someone told you no. Start adding up the total of that in your life. How many of those were no's compared to how many yeses? So we started programming ourselves from a very young age to expect to guess what? Your no. And that does not serve us whatsoever. Because you think about it, if the only thing that you're hearing in life are no's, you start expecting it. And what that does to us is we start protecting ourselves that we do not want to hear a no. So we do everything possible to guess what? Not hear it. So that means that many times we intentionally, you know, of do things that prevent ourselves from, you know, you know, really just putting ourselves out there and that doesn't help at all. So what we've got to learn to do is, you know, shift things up. We have to take action upon ourselves so, you know, we can be able to you know, really help ourselves. So this is what I want you to do when you look at the big things. First, you have to start no longer asking for permission to do things in your life. Now, does that mean you need to just go and do some crazy things? No, no, no. But what this is really referring to is that whole notion where sometimes we hold ourselves back because it, we are taught as a child growing up, ask for permission, ask for permission over and over again, and then you still do it today. Think about when you're in a meeting when other people are say they're just blurting out the answer and you're just you're holding up your hand how that holds you back from reaching people because they say oh well you you're, you're just timid or whatever but no you were just conditioned to always hold your hand up to ask for permission that's one way in terms of that conditioning that we have to overcome and the simplest thing is to stop raising your hand stop waiting for someone to give you permission to succeed because no one's going to give you permission to do it you just have to go out there and do it. So if you're waiting for someone else to say, it's okay, you've got this, don't. Look in the mirror and tell yourself every day, I give you permission to do whatever it takes to win, to succeed. Because it's up to you to ultimately make that happen. So that's where the first part of it truly begins at, is you know, stop asking for permission. Now another thing, this is extremely important, because this is another area where it just holds you back, it's this notion of standing out. Think about as you're growing up, you know, like you know, everybody when you 
think of the classes you were in, you had someone who was the quote unquote class clown and you'd hear the teacher say to them, oh, you shouldn't be doing things to stand out, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what that does to you? That doesn't help you at all succeed. Because then in your mind, you're telling yourself, oh, well, I shouldn't do anything to stand out. That's not good. Maybe I should just be in the background. And that's not what you want to be doing in your life. You want to make sure that people see who you are all the time. So you must take those proactive measures to stand out in your day-to-day -day life. Because that's what's going to make a difference in everything that you do. Because if you don't, well, guess what happens? Not a whole lot. Because no one else is going to help you stand out. It's up to you to you know, take things by the reins and just run with it. That's what it comes down to. So everything is always about you have to, to step up and simply begin to do it. So what I want you to begin doing today are three things. First, is giving yourself permission to succeed. Plain and simple. Because you have to do it. Does that mean that you're going to succeed every single time? No. Does it mean that you're going to fail along the way? Pretty much. But guess what that means? You're going to constantly move towards a specific result that you've identified. If you look at anything in life, there's always going to be successes and failures. Let me use an example from, an enge from engineering. Do you think that when they decide to make a car, the first idea that comes to mind is the one that's successful? No. It's a constant ev evolution of new ideas that lead to this result. So when you think of the car that you're driving, it's because there was test after test where someone else says, let's try this idea out and something didn't work. Okay, we learned something and then we keep going. That's what it means by giving yourself permission to succeed because everything you do, you're going to learn something from it which is gonna help propel you further. Now the next thing you wanna give yourself permission to do is to stand out in the crowd because you see the people who are most successful are the ones that stand out the most. So think about this for, and just put it in perspective here. Think of, let's see, the number of recording artists, the people that you hear on the radio that have amazing voices and they're having these amazing careers. Yet, what's the difference between them, let's say it's someone you heard singing locally that might be more talented? It's all about exposure. So what you have to decide for yourself is in your business, if you want to grow it, ask yourself a single question. How can you give yourself permission to be exposed to more people. So more people hear your message and see your message on a daily basis. That's what you have to challenge yourself with because that makes all the difference in the world with who experiences what you're doing. And then lastly, like I said before, you have to give yourself permission to simply do it. That's what it comes down to because no one's gonna give you the handout. You have to go out there and you have to take it. You have to want it and to be willing to do whatever it takes to make it work. Does that mean working long hours of time? Yes. Does it mean that you have to sacrifice everything in your life to make something work? No. But what it does mean is sometimes you have to be willing to give everything in your life to make something work. So if you're going to be launching a product or service, it might take you, let's say, 60 days of working, 7 days a week to pull it off then guess what, the 60 days of hard work because then you know that the benefit is going to pay off afterwards. You have to be willing to put in the hard work. So many people will tell you, oh no, no, don't do that. This work-life balance. So here's the thing, you have to focus on abundance, not a balance in this case. We're gonna talk more about that later this week. But here's the thing, when you're going to make something happen, you have to be willing to give 100% towards it. If you hold back, that's gonna show any results. So give everything you have to making those bigger things you want work. So do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that like button and hit that you know, and share this video out there because there's someone out there who needs to hear this message because it's going to help them overcome those things that have been holding them back in their life. So go out there and have an amazing day.